Hey guys, today we're going to be checking out Braveheart from 1995. I am super excited to check this one out. Let's get to it. Here we go. Braveheart. I am ready for some Scottish accents. I've been told this is not terribly accurate, so I'm taking it as a fiction with Scottish accents. Braveheart. Gotta love the bagpipes. Scotland. The King of England, the Long Shanks, the Long Shanks. The throne of Scotland. Scotland's nobles fought and fought each other. Long Shanks invited them to talk. That's a name. Malcolm Wallace, the common hope. He had two sons. Oh. Well, finish my work. Oh, come on. I want to go. Go home. What a little cutie. Apologize in advance for my terrible Scottish accent, which I'm sure will pop out. Oh my god. What the hell? How many? What happened? Is this the guys that went to talk about the truce? I have chills. Oh, oh, buddy. It's alright. Oh, buddy. Easy, lad. Oh, it's just a kid. Cannot beat an army. Oh, it's a 50 farmers. Just fight them. Now, who's with me? They're gonna go oh, fight oh, the guys? Oh, you can't go, bud. I'm going with you. Going with you. Ah. I can fight. But it's our wits that make us men. Oh, chills. He's a good dad. See you tomorrow. <laughs> I hope he sees him tomorrow. I don't have a good feeling about this. That hanging thing really freaked me out. They'll kill us and burn the farm. It's up to us, Hamish. Boys. Ah! Oh. <laughs> They're just playing. So proud. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Boys. Maybe there's some girls that would do that too, but my sister and I would never. <laughs> da? They're all bloody. He doesn't want to believe it. Come here, lad. Oh. Buddy. He's cold. Exaudi Is he all alone? Requiem eternam lux perpetua. Poor guy. She's very sweet. I'm your uncle, Argyle. Oh, well, at least he has some family. Is he nice or mean? You'll come home with me. I don't want to leave. You didn't want your father to die either. It sucks he has to leave, like, his home, his friend. Did the priest give a poetic benediction? It was in Latin. You don't speak Latin? It's gonna teach him. Well, that's something we shall have to remedy. Bless thee and keep thee. Lift up his coat and give thee peace. Your heart is free. Have the courage to follow it. This poor guy. That's a sword. Okay. Well, it could be worse. He could have. He could have ended up with terrible people. Okay. Many years We're in later, London. his eldest son would succeed him. Amen. Does he not want to marry Long her? Longshanks had chosen the daughter of his rival, King of France. Interesting. She's very lovely. Oh, I see. Well, that'll be frowned upon. It was widely whispered that to conceive, Longshanks would have to do the honors. Oh, that God. may have been what he had in mind. Yikes. That doesn't happen. Nobles are the key of Scotland. How mean is this guy? Like, is she afraid of him, I wonder? Grant their prima nocte sexual. Right. Huh? The night of her wedding. What? Is that a real thing? <laughs> the most excellent idea. Um, did that really happen? That's so disturbing. Robert, the 17th Earl, ah. leading contender for the crown. Well, they can't let that happen, right? Longshanks is granted prima nocta. Are they fine with it? That's outrageous to me. Is this not outrageous at the time? Is this Mel? Is he going home? Oh, yeah. Okay. Who's this lovely lady? I would like to see Mel dance a jig. They know each other? I think so. Is that some sort of Scottish insult? Test of manhood. Oh. You win. <laughs> <laughs> Not a fighter. <laughs> Is that his friend? Hamish. <laughs> you know that punch anywhere. I was wondering if you could do that when it matters. I could crush oh. you like a worm. Like a worm. 
Dude, move. I will not. You'll move. Oh, I don't know. Ah. <laughs> it's not the size of the stone. You should have remembered the rocks. I yeah, should have. <laughs> well, that was an adorable stone fight. I like these two. Who are these guys? The English? No, no, no. Prima nocta. I will no. bless this marriage by taking the bride. By God, you will not! Are they really gonna do that? She doesn't want them to kill him. I'm gonna cry. Is that really gonna happen? That's so messed up. Would you like to come and ride with me? Well, the weather's just fine. It's happy raining. It's you she takes after. <laughs> well, this is sweet. They're going on a horse ride together. How did you know me after so long? Well, I didn't. Is it the little girl? Oh my god. Are they gonna fall in love? Are you in the habit of riding off in the rain with strangers? It's the best way to make you leave. Well, okay. they're very cute. Sorry, Daz, are you impressed yet? No. Why should I be? Ask a chaque jour. Je bon à toi. Oh. Do that stand on your head. Might kill the fly up, but I'll try. Oh, right? God. Yeah, he probably will. <laughs> Rien qui approche ta beauté. Mm. Well, I think they're in love now. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Come in now. Kiss him first. Does he have a gift for her? What is it? <gasps> oh, he kept it. This movie already, I have cried twice and felt the goosebumps and we're falling in love. Holy moly. Well, I'll change when my sons arrive. You've got children? I was hoping that you could help me with that. <laughs> I love you. Oh. Always have. I want to marry you. Kiss. Marriage proposal before the first kiss. I'm into it. <laughs> Is that a yes? I guess when yes. you know, you know. The best hurry. Are they sneaking away? Just a secret little ceremony. Oh, so that the friggin' guys can't take her away. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I will love you my whole life. You and no other. Oh. This is so sweet. And I you forever. You have love. That looks cold. I really believe they're in love. <laughs> Nothing better happen to her. Beautiful Scottish lass. They're so sweet. They're so smitten. They're just grinning at each other. I'm not gonna see you again. Be I'm cool, guys. Night. They can't resist the nighttime woods, hanky panky. Where are you going, Lassie? What do they want with her? Hello, Lassie. Leave her alone. Huh? Are they gonna hurt us? <laughs> Fighting him? Oh, uh, oh, good. No, they're not just gonna let that go. Yeah, go, go, go. Beat me at the grove. They're getting away! I don't know if you should leave her. Oh no. He hit her in the neck. Where are they gonna what are they gonna do? Go back. Hold on. Hurry. What are they gonna do to her? To live together? They're gonna kill her. That's how you repay my leniency. I think they're gonna kill her. Where is he? You should have rode with her. It's not his fault, but you should have rode with her. Is he really gonna surrender? Not the horse, man. Yeah, the whole village is at war here. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Okay, boys. Get that guy, get the main guy. I suppose it was only a matter of time till someone was skewered. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Slice him in the throat just like he did. Do not let him go. Yeah, okay. Ah. Shoot, slicing is not my thing. Fidelium <sighs> 
Like, was that I think she was his true love since they were kids. I don't know what he's gonna do now. Well, just get revenge, I guess. But what on the English? Well, I don't know what's gonna happen now. The Gregors. It's men. From the next clan. We heard about what was happening. Thinking you can have your fun without us. Are they forming an uprising? I think they're probably all very good fighters. Hardy, beefy boys. Do they still have the uniforms from all the guys they killed, I wonder? Can they use them? That's what I'd do. So I want here. <gasps> hey! I was right! Brilliant! I have dispatched a hundred soldiers to Lanark! Actually, it was more like 50. Oh, that's the guy that took his you wife. Remember me? It was my right! I'm here to claim the right of a husband! <laughs> <laughs> I'm William Wallace. Go back to England! Tell them Scotland is free! Torched it. I thought they were gonna hold up camp there. Scottish rebels have murdered the noble lord. This Wallace is a brigand. Wallace mm -mm. has already taken control of the town. Yeah, he did. He's badass. I leave you here to quell this little rebellion. He wants him to squash it? That's not gonna happen. A rebellion has begun. Oh my. He fights with passion. Inspires. Mm. <laughs> Indeed. Time to survive. You're the 17th Robert Bruce. He's the guy that might become the king of France. Er, Scotland, right? Give a year to our nobles. It's the key to the throne. I thought this guy was a good guy. Shoot. So romantic. So romantic. I like this princess girl. She's nice. Maybe she can help him. We've come to fight and to die for you. Wow. That can't be William Wallace. All right, father. I'll ask him. Is he talking to God? <laughs> when I get a chance to kill Englishman, in order to find his equal, an Irishman is forced to talk to God. Seen <laughs> Irish. <laughs> oh, he's Irish, okay. Fight for me, you get to kill the English. Excellent! Stephen! <laughs> Stephen! I'm the most wanted <laughs> man on my island. You mean Ireland? It's mine. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, Stephen, you're in. I like him. Is he sneaking up on him? No, no, no. I just said I liked him. What the? No. Oh, oh get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Sure, didn't the Almighty send me to watch your back? Aye. Okay, Steven. Steven's our number one guy. He's your bodyguard. Yeah. We like Steven. It's our runners. It's our runners. I gotta work on it. Are you ready for a war? Aye. I guess so. Sterling. My accent's not good. I'm not good at it. And I'm part Scottish. We're outnumbered. At least three to one. We must try to negotiate. Yeah. Come on. Oh boy. Shh. Balls. Do they have a plan? Do they even have like a you flank and I'll flank and I don't know the words. So many. Hmm. Let's go home! Ooh, uh, the famous blue paint. I have seen this blue paint. That's very cool. I feel like if there was one thing I wish was historically accurate, it's the blue face paint. They look so cool. This is our army. Our army. I am William Wallace. Wallace is seven feet tall. He consumed the English with fireballs and bolts of lightning from his arse. <laughs> you come to fight as free men, and free men you are. Come on, boys! They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! Ooh, good speech. <laughs> I'd fight sword. They seem quite optimistic to me. I think we should deliver the king's terms. They look like little penises. I wonder what the terms are. They're not gonna be good. We'll own everything. You guys will be able to live. Here are the king's terms. <laughs> He's just he right up behind him. Estates in Yorkshire. From which you will pay. Not interested, man. Duty. I have an offer for you. Lower your flags. To beg forgiveness for theft, rape, and murder. Do it not, every one of you will die today. Oh boy. This is gonna be an ugly fight. Your commander must cross that field and kiss his own arse. I think we're done here, fellas. Ride round behind our position and flank them. Oh, yeah, flank them. Okay. 
They'll think we're run away. Ah. Good plan. See, okay, that's all I wanted. Just make a plan. Here we go. I feel bad for the horses. They don't know they're the bad guys. All the horses should get to live. Now they look like little penises. <laughs> That is some Scottish rage! <laughs> I was wondering what the good of a kill it was. I hope they'll get shot in the penis. Ah, the Lord tells me he can get me out pretty sure. You're f <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Now the bear butts. Boys, put your butts away. <laughs> ah, sh right in the butt. Ah, crap. Right! That's the plan. They're just standing. I'm nervous. I hope this flank thing works. Oh, oh crap. Oh, yeah. Oh, the poor horses. Poor guys. Not the English, all right? But the, the horses, I feel bad for them. Ah! This is gonna be ugly. This is gonna be real ugly. Oh my god, how can you even tell who's who? I think, I think we're winning. Ah! Oh, sorry, fellow. Sorry, old chap. Ah! That's the only way to enter a battle. Retreat indeed. There's a lot of this. Oh. I wonder if it came to it. If I if I had to go to battle or die, I wonder if I could get there. Just cut someone's head off. I don't friggin' know. Well, good job, I guess. Oh, wow. Holy. Oh, that's like iconic. I knight thee, Sir William Wallace, guardian Sir. and high protector of Scotland. What for him is? <laughs> Look like, okay. We're doing it! This week with the commoners that unbalance everything. <laughs> Steven! Steven! We invite you to continue your support. Damn the Belial time! <laughs> Fight amongst yourselves, boys. I will invade England, defeat the English on their own ground. Oh. It's impossible! Why is that impossible? Oh, he's a noble, noble man. Wait! I want what you want, but we need... Does he? ...the noble... Just lead them to freedom. Follow you. Inspire him. So would I. Yeah, I think he could be a good man. Come on. Now, I actually don't really know the history of Scotland as I should, but in this movie, Mel Gibson and Co. are the good guys, and the other guys are the bad guys. Look at this Co. He means business. Look at his boyfriend just standing there. You should make yourself scarce, probably, man. Well, it's a sacked York. Oh, what is that? Oh, I was hoping it wasn't a head. It's like a seven moment. We can invade our England. That's right. We would stop him. Dude, you should shut up. What advice would you offer? Ah! Ah! Did you just kill him? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shall offer a truce and truce. buy him off. You can't buy him off. Who knows then? Maybe he sent the girl. Is that the girl? Oh no, it's his wife. Oh god, I don't know. Wake up, William. A royal entourage comes! At least he can see her in his dreams. He did send the princess. Oh, that's a good call because he was not gonna kill her. That's what I would do. 
I don't think he's gonna kill her. There's less chance he's gonna kill her. York was the staging point for every invasion. And that royal cousin hanged innocent Scots. Well, Longshank's dead far worse. She doesn't know Someone any of this. Leave us. Yeah, Hamilton, scram. The king desires peace. In return, he grants you title and this chest of gold. He doesn't care about gold. I know about your woman. Married in secret because I would not share her with an English lord. They killed her to get to me. I see her strength in you. Oh. You'll be a queen and you must open your eyes. William Wallace will not be ruled, and nor will any Scot while I live. I think she respects him so much and finds him very romantic. Armies from France will land here. Conscripts from Ireland will approach. They take weeks to assemble. I dispatched them before I sent your wife. So he didn't really want a truce? Oh, she can warn him? She's making us a Hamish. Yeah, she warned him. The English ships are moving up from the south. What the hell are the Irish doing? Didn't I tell you before? It's my island. Your <laughs> island. My island! <laughs> I hope none of these guys die. I feel like they're all gonna die. We require every soldier you can summon. Even yourselves. <laughs> they don't want to fight. There's no way they're going to. There is strength in you, I see it. Yeah, inspire him. Unite us. Unite the clans. Right. I gave him my word. Is he not gonna do it? Don't listen to this old man. My son, what I tell you, you must do. What's he gonna do? I really thought he was gonna help him. He'll come. Use up the Irish. The dead cost nothing. He's the worst. Here we go. Ah, oh. <laughs> Irish. Glad to have you with us. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. Yes. Ah! There we go. I still think it would be tricky to know who's who. Are they not gonna come? They're not going. You dicks. I gave Mornay double his lands in Scotland. Won't we hit our own troops? But we'll hit theirs as well. We have reserves. Archers! What the hell? This guy's the worst. Yeah, it's probably just half and half. They're hitting all their own guys. Send in the rest. That's ridiculous. Shall we retire? Shall we retire? Like to the smoking room after dinner. <gasps> That's like right in the heart. <sighs> Going after him with the arrow in him. Robert? He's heartbroken. He believed in you, man. How could you do this to him? Get him out of here! Gracious. Steve. Steve's the real MVP here. Is that his girls? Does he know what he's done? These are all the dead Scottish people. He will have all the power in Scotland. Power. And no honor. Nothing. They fought for William Wallace and he fights something that I've never had. Good, yes. I will never be on the wrong side again. Good for you, man. Cut through them like Moses through the Red Sea. This legend grows. This legend grows. Oh, that's what I just said. Wallace is renowned for his ability to smell an ambush. He warned to our future. Are they going to use her? her? with the notion that she comes in peace. I feel so bad for this girl. They're just going to take him. <laughs> he would never fall for that. They're going to burn it. Yep. Wow. Whew. I received your message. Why? Why do you help me? Because of the way you are looking at me now. <gasps> Yes, kiss. Okay. You both deserve a little bit of nice thing in your life. I'm happy about this. Two nice people kissing. 
Meet us two days from now. We'll unite behind you. Scotland will be one. I mean this. It's from Robert. It's the pledge of Robert the Bruce. You do know it's a trap. I don't know. I don't know. What? No! No! Father! Was it him? Longshanks acquired Wallace. I don't want to hear it. So Longshanks has Wallace now? You're not a man! You're a turd. You are my son. You deceived me. Yes. You stand in taint of high trees. Instead of having a trial? Your king. Never did I swear allegiance to him. Deny and you must be purified by pain. Purified by pain? Well, maybe the princess can get him out. Your highness. Yeah, 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 yeah. I come to beg you to confess all and swear allegiance. We'll die, it will be awful. Every man dies. Not every man really lives. Drink this. It will dull your pain. It will numb my wits. Oh my god, just take it. I have come to beg for the life of William Wallace. No, oh, he's surprised. Oh, great king. He is the friggin' worst. Your blood dies with you. A child who is not of your line grows in my belly. Your son will not sit long on the throne. It's William Wallace's child. She's pregnant with this baby. Is he really going to die here now? There's children there. Stretch him! They're just going to stand there? Kiss the royal emblem on my cloak. I don't think he will, but I wish he would. Wreck him! What does that mean? God. Oh my god. It can all end. <sighs> Just say, cry out. Mercy! Even the crowd wants mercy. Say, say, say. The prisoner wishes to say a word. After the beheading, Wallace's body was torn to pieces. As a warning, it did not have the effect. And I, Robert, rode out to pay homage, except Finally. his endorsement of my crown. He has a handkerchief. Let's get it over with. You have bled with Wallace! Now bleed with me! What, does he want to fight them instead? Patriots of Scotland charged the fields and won their freedom. Yeah. <sighs> okay, guys, well, that was Braveheart. That one was emotional for me. I cried like four times, five times. I was moved. I was moved by it. I actually didn't really mind the runtime on it. I liked the story building in the beginning before we got to any of the going to battle and all that stuff. I know that that's probably what people like most about this is all the, the fighting and the epic battle scenes and stuff. But for me, it was more about like the romance and the passion and the friendship and the loyalty. Not that I didn't like the battles. The battles were great, but for me, the the story is what got me, and and also Mel Gibson's character. The character William Wallace really got me. It really was like a good man. It's cool to think about people that could be so inspiring like that. MVP. I kind of feel like I have to give it to Mel Gibson. You know, he's the director and the star. This is his show, and I really liked it. I thought this was a, a really beautiful movie. Disturbing in some parts. His death was really really rough. Now that I'm thinking of it, it wasn't even graphic but it felt graphic. I thought he did a good job. I liked the character all the way through. Loki MVP I'm gonna give to William Wallace's crew of boys, including Hamish and Steve. They were his boys to the end. 
they were there when he died. His loyal crew of Scottish boys, the Loki MVP. And the worst sword probably doesn't even need to be said. It's gonna be Longshanks. That guy is the dick of all dicks. That guy was the worst. Ugh. He was just vile. I'm so glad that the princess like whispered in his ear that she was carrying William Wallace's baby. That makes me happy. Longshanks, you're the worst. Overall, just an epic, beautiful, passionate story, and I really, really enjoyed it. I enjoyed how deeply I felt things in this one. This was a good one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a good time. I hope you had a good time too, and I will see you next time. Bye guys.